So today's project, I'm going to make the tool I need to be able to put the, uh, the hood spring on. And this is just simply taking in ideas from the ones that you can purchase. And uh, I'm going to make one. And so the hood hinge, as you can see at the top, hooks on uh, right here. One of the problems with the hood hinge is, of course, it has to be stretched a couple of inches, which uh, by hand is nearly impossible. So you can see here on the passenger side, uh, the spring goes down uh, next to the cowl on the firewall behind the inner fender well and attaches to the, um, the hood hinge up top here. And so that's what I need to do on the driver's side. All right, so it's time to take some measurements. What we're going to do is find out what the, uh, the overall length of the spring needs to be um, at its shortest length to enable us to, to be able to hook it on here. So what I'm gonna do is take the end of the measuring tape down to um, the mounting point right here. Uh, I can get my hand in the right place. There we go. And we're gonna find that it's gonna be about, where is it? Playing with measuring tape is always fun. Um, we're going to find that it's going to be uh, just shy of 15 inches for us to be able to um, hook the spring on there. So that's the length at its shortest while it's mounted that the spring is going to have to be. So we're going to need to uh, create the tool so that it extends the spring at least 15 inches hook to hook so that we can put it on and still have enough room to stretch the spring to be able to remove the tool. Now we have the hood spring uh, stretched out on the floor jack and we've got a total length of 15 and a half inches which is uh, three quarters to an inch longer than the shortest distance. That should give us a little bit of stretching room to be able to remove the tool after we get the the hinge on. So if I subtract uh, the length of this hook and the length of that hook, the pieces of the tool that uh, I want to I want to cut. So we'll say I want to put uh, a cross piece here on the bottom loop, another cross piece here on the top loop. So I'm looking at a total height of We'll say roughly nine inches. So I'll cut the uh, I'll cut the tool so there's nine inches in length, and then I'll weld in some cross pieces to slide into the the spring. So now I've got my pieces cut, uh, cleaned them up a bit, uh, you know, around the end, so just for better handling while I'm making it. Um, so the length, as you can see here, is just about right. It's right at nine inches. Um, what I'm gonna be doing is taking two pieces and welding them together into a channel so that the channel fits over the spring. And uh, and then, you know, I'll have a weld a, a, a piece across here at each end to create a, <coughs> a box. <coughs> and and that will just fit right into fit right into these spaces at the end of the spring. Now the diameter of the, the spring is one and a half inches. So I'm gonna run with uh, a two inch space in here and uh, just weld her all up. So 
now we'll build this other end. Or tack it rather. I'm not finished welding. I haven't gotten to welding it yet. There we go. Tacked in place. Now on the back side so it doesn't, doesn't collapse on itself. There we go. Now, weld her up. All right, now we have a channel piece. It's still kind of hot, just finished welding it. But, uh, so this is gonna be our tool. And we're gonna put uh, a piece across here and a piece across there to hold the spring open. There's a small handful of things that uh, I'm gonna to need to consider before I could, you know, finish welding this together is uh, the fit between the the coils of the spring and the thickness of the metal that I'm going to use. So if I was to use another piece of this angle iron to go in there, probably find that uh, it's going to be a bit snug. Actually, it's not really, but I think that I think that I could, I'm going to want a little more playroom than, I'm, than the thickness of this angle iron is going to afford me. So I could use uh, another bed frame bracket. That would fit in there nicely. Um, but I think the piece that I'm going to use is uh, a piece of uh, rack rail for a foul server. It's got a little more um, playroom in there. I don't want to get uh, the spring in place in a really confined space under, you know, behind the fender. And I have a hell of a time trying to remove the tool because it's binding in right here. Another thing that I need to consider is uh, is going to be the angle that it gets welded across here. So if I was to take this uh, this piece, line it up along one side of the spring so that I know it's in line with the spring, I bring it all the way up, you can see that there's quite a gap over here, probably roughly about a quarter of an inch. So what I need to do is cut uh, cut each end with that angle on it so that when I put the tool in place, it goes in at the correct angle uh, between the spirals of the coils on the spring. Okay, of course, I don't want to commit to welding this yet. Uh, I want to try my try my fit. So put the cross piece in so that's at, a, at an angle. And bring uh, the piece up after I just cut the angle on it and it looks like it's a good fit. So really all I got to do here is just do the other end and uh, should be good. So now for a test fit before I commit to welding those on. Um, I've got both ends cut at an angle. I've got the short piece here uh, right at the bottom. Right at the bottom. Uh, set this on. Lines up the spring along this side. That angle looks good. I can see that where this top piece fits in is just uh, a little too far away from the end of uh, the main piece. Um, that may or may not be a problem. Uh, we're going to find out, uh, you know, when I try to use it. Um, but considering that I've decided on, I think I said 15 and a half inches, whereas the or 15 and a quarter, 15 and a half. Whereas the, the overall stretch length of the spring at its shortest position is 14 and a half. So we're probably going to be okay, but there's going to be some variability here in how I stretch the spring. So worst case scenario is I have to cut this off and 
change the length. Not a big deal. All right, time to test drive it. Let's see what we got here. I welded uh, the end pieces on, and uh, you know it's effectively just a box with uh, you know angled ends to fit inside the spring. So let's give it a shot. I'll start at the topmost, and uh, and it fits. Now, what I want to do is, I know that at the bottom hook end of the spring, it's really tight to the side cowl on the side of the firewall. So I'm going to put the tool in uh, slightly, slightly off axis with the the hook, so that the hook has uh, a little more lead on this side of the the tool. Might get it might it might provide the room I need. I have a feeling I may have a conflict with this corner of the, the tool, but we're going to find out. So let's uh, let the pressure off the jack here and see if it holds. If not, then it's back to the drawing board. All right. Looks like it's releasing, and it might be holding. There we go. Now we're going to see if uh, see if I can get the, the hood spring on the car now. Now the moment of truth. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull this off by myself, um, but I'm going to give it a shot. I might need some help to, you know, raise and lower the hood as as needed. Um, so let's let's see what we get here. See if I can hook this thing in. It's a little. Um, clumsy with uh, the tool around the spring. So let's see. Where's the end? There it is. If possible, I'm not going to be able to get the hook on there um, with the tool in place. I uh, may have to make a shorter tool. I'm not sure. At which point I, you know, discover that I spent way more time on this than um, <laughs> than I should have bothered with. It would have been easier to just order the tool, but oh well, you know how that goes. It's just the way us guys like to operate. Oh, I see what the problem is. I need to move the tool over sideways because it's hitting the fender well. Okay. So, see I have the tool on there over to one side. I need to move the spring over to this side of the tool because this side of the tool is hitting the inner fender well. Alright. That was that was simple enough. All I did was just put a screwdriver in here and put it in the vise and move it over. So let's give it another shot. Almost there. <laughs> Almost. Close, but no cigar. So it needs to be just a, a hair longer. I might be able to get this with a screwdriver. Let's see. If it doesn't explode on me. I'm going to find out. operation here.
It's almost there. Wonder if I lift the hood. Yep. There we go. Okay. Now I'm gonna lower the hood. Yet. See if we can remove the tool. like it's uh, partly out. All right, there we go. And the hood hinges. It's in there. say that is success all right beautiful it's in there now and uh, I don't need this hood prop anymore okay so let's do a, let's do a summary here maybe you guys want to make one yourself um, we'll do some measurements um, if I was to take uh, the overall length I remember uh, I cut it to um, nine inches uh, overall and then I cut an angle at each end. This, by the way, this is, uh, I think it's, um, yeah, like one and a quarter inch angle iron. Um, two pieces that I welded together with, uh, you know, a two inch space in there. Um, the angle wasn't all that complicated. Uh, you could just do what I did and fit it in the, fit it in the spring. To see what kind of angle you're going to want but you're looking at roughly a quarter inch difference um, between the two sides and you just have to make sure that they're at the correct angle um, <laughs> otherwise they won't fit at all um, and then of course you know the, uh, the opposite at this end um, and that's all there is to it and it seemed to work of course if i had to redo this um, it probably wouldn't have been worth the trouble. It'd be easier to just order the tool for 45 bucks and uh, make life easy. <laughs>